So welcome back to another boiler video. Now we've not done one of these for a while and that's because not much has been going on in the boiler world. However, there's lots of new generation technology boilers coming to the market. And in this video, we're gonna review this. This is the Valen Ecotech Plus. It's the brand new 2023 model. Now the first thing we've got to do is get it out of this box. Boilers weigh an absolute ton. I've got a bit of a dodgy back and what we've got to open it is a bread knife. Now if your heating engineer turns up with a bread knife to open the boiler, then ask them to leave immediately. Okay, don't get my ball patch in. Actually, do you know what? Maybe they should use a bread knife. It's actually very effective and there's no chance you're gonna cut your fingers. Take everything back I said. There are two man left. There we go. So while we've got this open, we're gonna look and see what else is in the box. Uh, it may or may not be useful for you. I'm not convinced that came from factory, but we've got the bracket to mount it onto the wall. We've got some user manuals, some other manuals, documentation pack, a really boring ERP sticker. We've got a valve pack, more valves, some pre-bent copper tube, some fixings, some more valves. I've no idea why we've got three sets of valves in this boiler. Some condensed pipe work. Basically everything you need to install this onto the wall. And what you also get is a nice little box to take all your rubbish away in. Okay, so we've got the boiler out of the box and here it is. This is the 2023 Valen Ecotech Plus boiler. This is a brand new model and essentially it replaces the previous model. It's a bit of an evolution, a facelift, but what it's got inside is something called Ioni Detect and that's all to do with its combustion technology. When we take the cover off that, we'll be able to take a look inside and see how that works. So as we mentioned in the intro to this video, we've not been doing too many um, reviews of boilers and that's because there's not been very many models coming through. However, what we've seen over the last 12 months is manufacturers developing technology to improve their burning systems, their ignition systems, and all that technology in R&D is essentially based around different types of gases. So does this mean that manufacturers are hedging their bets on what the future of the UK heating industry looks like by developing technology like this, where we can sense different gases such as natural gas, LPG, hydrogen blends, and perhaps full hydrogen boilers. Who knows, we'll take a look inside this one in a bit and try and find out more. Okay, so how is this boiler different from the predecessor, the previous Ecotech Plus? Well, it's broadly similar in its options, so you can get it in a combi or you can get it in a system boiler, and there's various sizes you can get it in. This is actually a combi, and this is a 32 kilowatt model, it's an 832. However, you can get an 826, so a 26 kilowatt the 832 you can get an 836 which is a 36 kilowatt or you can get an 840 the 40 kilowatt model now the difference between all those boilers is the heating power and the hot water power so on a combi boiler if you imagine you split this boiler down the middle one side of it does the home's heating so your radiators or your underfloor heating and this side does the hot water for the property now when you see an 836 and 832 what it doesn't mean is there's 32 for heating and 32 for hot water. Usually what you'll find is the 32 or the kilowatt rating is all to do with the hot water and the heating will be a different output. If that doesn't make sense, we'll put a link below to the data sheet for the product and you can see all the dimensions and the outputs on there. Okay, so how do you specify the right one for your home? Well, if you use the heatable quoting tool, our systems will do that for you based on the information that you enter. However, if you're not buying your boiler from heatable or you wanna specify it elsewhere, then we'll tell you how to do that now. So let's start with the 26 kilowatt model. So the 26 kilowatt model will give you 26 kilowatts of output for the hot water. That's about 10 liters a minute. And the 26 kilowatt model for heating will give you 20 kilowatts. And that's enough to power about 12 or 13 radiators. 
As you move up to the 32 model, again, you're gonna get 32 kilowatts on the heat on the hot water side of the boiler rather, and on the heating side of the boiler, you're gonna get 26 kilowatts, and that's enough to do 14, maybe 15 radiators. And then we get to the 36, so again, 36 kilowatts on the hot water, and then we've got 29.9 on the heating, and that's enough to do sort of 17 or 18 radiators. And on the 40 model, 40 on hot water, on the heating side, again, it's only 29.9 kilowatts, so you're talking 17, 18 radiators worth of heat. Okay, so that's the power of the boiler, but how big is this product and where is it gonna fit in your home? Well, the dimensions are 720 millimeters tall, 440 millimeters wide, and 338 millimeters deep. I've just measured this boiler and realized it's actually 352 millimeters deep. Don't use the 338 I said just before. So if you're planning on putting your boiler in a cupboard, you need to make sure it's gonna fit and you're also gonna need some clearances around it because those dimensions are for the boiler only. Don't forget, you're gonna have a boiler flue on top. We've got pipe connections underneath. So fitting these in a, a sort of kitchen cupboard can sometimes be quite tight and do check those measurements. Visually, this boiler isn't going to offend anyone if it's not in a cupboard. Valent boilers always have a slight curve to their case. It's got a nice digital display at the bottom to control the boiler. And overall, I think it looks pretty attractive for what is a white box on your wall, if anyone's ever said that before. As if that's creaking there. Okay, so we've covered the dimensions, the power outputs, what it looks like. We've even unboxed one live for you and put my back out. Now what we're gonna do is take the front of this case off and let's take a look at that fancy burner technology and see how it could future-proof your home. So another interesting fact around this boiler is if you get one of these fitted in your home, you may now have two rabbits hidden in that property. One of them is gonna be here inside your boiler, although it might not be as fun as the other one. So apart from a rabbit, what else is living inside this boiler? Well, firstly, let's take a look at this INEO Detect or INEO, INEO, INEO Detect burner solution. And essentially what this is, it's much like the Wiesman latest generation of products. They have one in theirs called Lambda Pro. And what this essentially is all based on is detecting the burn of the mix between the gas and the oxygen in your boiler. So traditionally with a boiler, what you'd have is a flame sensor. All that's looking for is if we're supplying gas to the boiler, do we have a flame? Is the fan on and are we combusting? And that provides a certain level of efficiency. What these later generation of systems do is they can actually detect what quality or what type of gas is being brought into the boiler and then it will adjust the mix for the most efficient burn. Now on natural gas, this changes throughout the world wherever you are and it also changes in the UK. So gas we have in the south is actually different to the gas we have in the north and it burns slightly differently. This boiler can detect it and it will tweak the burn to give you a personalized, most efficient burn for the gas coming through your supply wherever you live. If you had LPG on your property, this would automatically detect it and change the mix. And again, that hydrogen 20% mix out the box, this boiler can burn a 20% mix of hydrogen to 80% natural gas or LPG. Now out of the box, this boiler has been preset or pre-authorized to burn up to 20% hydrogen to that natural gas mix. And this is very similar to the Wiesman model. However, when we spoke to both manufacturers unofficially, then essentially this Lambda Pro or this Ini Detect design technology is all built around the ethos of moving to a full hydrogen boiler should that come through. Now there's lots of debate at the moment in the UK about what the future of the home heating solutions look like as we try to go more renewable and get to that net zero goal. The way that we see it is a mix between air source heat pumps, hybrid products, gas boilers using a mixture of gas and hydrogen and potentially full hydrogen boilers. But what's your thoughts? Leave a comment below and tell us what you think the future of the heating solutions look like for the UK. 
So in the Valent range, this is sort of the top line premium product. They also do a pro product, which is below this one, and then they do the pure, that's their entry level product. Now the difference between the three is mainly due to do with the heat exchanger. So in the pro and the plus, you'll get this. This is a stainless steel heat exchanger. And essentially what that means is it's made of a very premium product. It's designed to outlive the boiler and they're very, very efficient. They are a little bit more expensive. They work very well in a hard water area also. So if you're in an area where you get sort of that milky water coming through your tap, so you have an issue with scale, then you definitely should consider fitting a boiler with a stainless steel heat exchanger. So the heat exchanger is the heart of our product, but let's take a look at some of the other components. With this being the range topping product, like we said before about its very low operational noise, you've got foam insulation padding all the way around the internals of this case, apart from the very bottom section. And this is designed to suppress noise. It's also pretty thick when you compare it to some of the other premium boilers their insulation is not as thick as this and I think that goes a long way to explain its very low operational noise. Elsewhere in the product we've also got this, this is our pump, so this is actually a dual branded product, it's Valent and Grumfoss and it's a UPM3, so essentially that's the most common boiler pump that we see in all of the premium products and in this, in, in this instance it's been specifically designed for the Valent application in this boiler. They're pretty cheap to replace and they're very robust, they're also so an ERP rated pump, an energy efficiency rated pump. So essentially they don't use a lot of current to activate. And you can see that here by the very thin wires that power the pump, they don't draw a lot of current. Elsewhere on the boiler, we've got our PRV down here. I'm not sure if you can see that. This is the pressure release valve. And this is designed to dispense pressure or to relieve pressure from the system if it's too high. You can also use it to drop the pressure from the boiler internally. Now on the front of the screen, you'll get a digital display for the pressure reading inside your Convi boiler. From a maintenance perspective and from an engineer perspective, there's also a manual analog gauge built in here. So when the engineer is working on your boiler, or if you have a failure on the uh, digital gauge, we can check the pressure elsewhere in the product. The next component is our plate heat exchanger. And the purpose of the plate heat exchanger is to use convection to transfer heat from the heating circuit to our domestic hot water outlet. So essentially one side of this has heating water on it and the other side has fresh water. They don't mix, but it uses convection to transfer that heat across to rapidly heat the water for your taps and your shower. And it's a very premium product made of a copper alloy. Moving on, we've now got this. This is our gas valve. So this is pretty standard across all boilers. The actual burner, the Inotec, uh, Inotec rather, burner is built in here. This is a regular gas valve. This links down here to our gas supply pipe on this flexible steel anaconda. I've not actually seen one of these inside a boiler before, um, but I didn't really have too much time with the old Ecotec um, Plus model. That's pretty rare. That's the kind of thing you would get on your gas main or your, your incoming supply. That gas then goes into this. This is our fan and this is an EMPFAST fan. So you get these on Wiesman boilers as well. I think some Worcesters use them. And essentially what's gonna happen, this is the air inlet here. This sucks air in, pulls it into the boiler, pulls it into the fan rather. The gas allows gas through. That blows into our burner and then our burner is ignited by this electrode here and it's monitored by this one on this side and that's what adjusts the burn. So we'll alter the gas valve coming in. It will alter the amount of oxygen to get that perfect burn. And the last component inside this boiler is this. This is our expansion vessel. So it's a 10 litre unit. It's pretty big for a combi boiler. And essentially what this is designed to do is to take the pressure from our system and balance it. So as water heats up, it expands. This has got a little bladder built into it and that bladder takes that pressure and maintains static system pressure in your boiler. Okay, so that's the internals covered. We're now gonna cover the controls, how you can use this boiler. So as standard, you get this nice and easy to use digital display and you can actually get a plug-in Wi-Fi card 
which will enable you to look at your boiler, look at gas consumption, um, and look at is any fault codes and its actual performance. You can't control the boiler from that though. You can only view statistics about the boiler and it is an additional accessory. What you can buy though are two different types of control. So this is the first one. This is the Senso Room. And essentially this will link to this boiler via Wi-Fi and it means that you can have an app on your phone, the Valent Smart Home app. You can log into this and you can change your heating schedule. You can also change what temperature you want the house to be and you can view that in data again on the burner um, and your fault codes on your boiler. The only thing to consider about this version of the controls is all you can do is turn from a physical perspective, turn the boiler up or down. You can't set any programs. If you want to set programs on the wall, because not all users have smartphones, then you need this one. This is the Senso Home. Obviously, it's a bigger unit. It's got a bigger touchscreen display. And what this enables you to do is to set programs for time, temperature. You can also view external temperatures with the product and it gives you full weather compensation. Finally, the warranty on this product. Well, if you buy it off the shelf and have it installed by a regular gas engineer, Valent will give you a five year warranty for parts and labor on this product. If you buy this through Heatable, you will extend that via Valent to a full 10 year parts and labor guarantee. And if you buy the range of controls at the same time as you buy the boiler, you'll also get the same guarantee. So we hope that was a useful video giving you more information about this brand new 2023 Valent Ecotech Plus Combi Boiler. Now, if you're in the market for a new boiler, then head over to heatable.co.uk where you can get a fixed price to have one of these installed tomorrow with interest-free credit.